everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we have another episode in our Teacher's Present series, but this is also a great idea if you do craft fairs, fates, that sort of thing. So stick around because um, hopefully we'll inspire you to have a go at something like this yourself. So what I need for this um, are some individually wrapped tea bags. Now I found them quite hard to find in a normal supermarket, so I bought these from Amazon. Now they do normal tea bags that are individually wrapped on Amazon, but I wanted something a bit different, so I went for these. Um, there's 12 different types of tea bags, and you get 60 in there, and they're all foil wrapped. So in here we've got English tea, strawberry black tea, mint green tea, we've got lemon lime black tea, English breakfast, jasmine green tea, Darjeeling, peach and passion black tea, green tea pure, lemon green tea, earl grey and apple black tea. Okay, so they're the selection that you've got. I think these were £6.29 from Amazon. I'll pop the link in the description below in case you wanted to look at those. So we're going to start by opening them. I haven't opened them because I've waited until um, you guys were here so we could... Uh, do the video together let me just um cut that open right there we go let's have a look so they all come in their own box so oh we've got here the green tea selection so you've got green tea lemon jasmine and mint mystique is that on the back there that mint one yes it was just called it was called mint green tea there but it's called mint mystique there Let's have a look what else we've got. There's the classic tea collection with the Darjeeling Your English Breakfasts. And then this pack, there's the fruit fruit tea. Right, so they come in the different sections. So let's get into this. I think these need to get into this again. Right, so there is actually a little tear a strip at the top. It just took me about 10 minutes to find the the end of it so let's take those out there and the green tea and see what they're like inside okay we'll do the green tea first okay so that's the selection that you get so you get one, two, three, four, five of each in there. So if, I mean, if you like these type of teas for yourself, you could just buy these just for yourself, really, I suppose, couldn't you? Okay, so that's those. Okay, let's have a look at this one. There's those there. Your Darjeeling. Your English breakfast. Uh, there's that one. And then we've got the fruit selection. In there. That one's got a bit wiggled about. Lemon and lime twist. Strawberry sensation. Peach and passion fruit. Apple refresh. Okay, so there are tea bags that we're going to use. Let's open up the boxes. It's dead simple. It's, and again, it's just a really, really easy thing to do. So we're also going to get some of these organza bags. These I've had um, in my stash, but the size, they are 12 by 15 centimetres in case anybody wanted to know the size. So we're just going to take those out. And it's as simple as this. The kids can do this. You get your tea bag. You pop it in to an organza bag. Pull it. Do you remember we had the Etsy um, download where we ordered the um, the print and you could change the um, the text in it? What about something like that? You are terrific. Pop that in there. I mean, how many could you make of these in an hour? Loads. More than you would probably ever need, I would imagine. I should give them out to the whole school, all the parents. And that is it. You are terrific. So that in itself is a nice little gift. You could maybe team that up with another present. If I just reach over here, we have the best teacher mug that I also bought. 
so you could pop something like that in the top um you could put like a bit of tissue paper in the bottom there and that in itself is a lovely present but if you wanted to make lots of these little presents up what else have i got here now i printed off one because you get two sizes on the printout i've put mrs mrs smith you are terrific so if you can see i've just spelt out the t there and just put rific um you are terrific and that one here I've done it a different way. You are terrific. And then love and then a space for the kids to write their name. So there's loads of different ways that you can do it. So I'm just going to make a few up now and um, just make a bit of a selection, really. But these, as I say, I mean, if you work out to price wise, if you work out, you've got 60 tea bags. So you would get your 60 or £6.29, which is what they cost and divide that into 60 and then that gives you the price of how much per tea bag you paid then work out how much this is if you're selling them then work out how much you paid for the organza bags and then that gives you your you know your cost price take into consideration the cost of the labels you know a bit of a cost of that as well and that will help you to get your price if you're you know selling because you you won't make a lot on them, but as you can see, they don't really take that much time to make anyway. So um, I know a lot of people do fundraising. I know Pauline does, um, Nanny McKinney on um, YouTube does lots of fundraising for her church. So these would be great for the church, Pauline, wouldn't they? Just a little prezzies there, um, but you could sort of team them up with, with other things as well. So... It's actually quite relaxing to do as well. It's quite um, it's quite good fun. I think they look nice in the white bags because you can see through um, and see the um, the tea bag because people will want to see. You know they'll want to see what they're buying, won't they? She says dropping them all on the floor. you a couple of ways that you can dress these up so we've got all of the 12 teas there so as i mentioned before one way you can do it is give them singly you can also as i said give them in one of these cups so what i would do is just get some tissue paper scrunch that down like that get your tea bag pop that in so you could just give that um like that or if i just reach over here you could pop one of these great teacher chocolate bars in and then get your cello wrap, wrap that round and put some um, curling ribbon on the top and that would be a present. Now, that would also be a really good present for a man as well. So if you are stuck, you could give that to a um, male or a female teacher. Um, if you wanted to do like um, a selection, like a tea selection, what you could do is get a basket. You could um, you can pick these up quite cheaply. Just sort of look around when you're around about in the shops. Get your basket and then you want to put some tissue paper in the bottom so you just scrunch scrunch them up like that now what you could do is put um you could put a mug in the middle so you could pop a mug like that and then do like a selection of tea bags around the edge so you could do like a, you see what I mean? Obviously you wouldn't have all the tags on and you could sort it out and put more bits in. Um, you could also put bars of chocolate, um, a pen. We've got some pens here. You could maybe pop one of those in. Um, a little pack of biscuits would actually be really good. So they could have like a tea and biscuits because you can get the small packets which are individually wrapped as well. So you could do that. And then just pop 
the um, the cello wrap over the top and that would be um, you know a really nice way to present it as well even if you didn't have the mug you could get um, a pack of biscuits some tea bags take the minus the tags because you're doing sort of quite a few and then you could sort of like go around and do a few and then pop some biscuits in the bottom so it's just the way you're dressing it up the way you're doing it and you can sort of like change and you know chop and change the ideas so i hope that's given you um a few ideas as i say it's not limited for teachers presence in any way shape or form these ideas can be adapted for all sorts of um you know all sorts of occasions so that's it i hope i've inspired you to have a go yourself um if you do give it a go do let me know in the um, comments down below so all the details that i've got i'll pop in the description for you in case you wanted to have a look incidentally this came from home bargains this mug so um good luck see you all again soon bye for now